So what to do about your dark circles and how to <laughs> shop? Well, like we mentioned in the middle section, the topicals, it's, also, it's just about managing expectations. We sh- we're just going to put it out there. If your dark circle is uh, associated with structural changes to the eye area, yeah. there is nothing topicals can do about that. So yeah. if you suspect uh, a big chunk of your dark circle is caused by big structural changes, um, best course of action is to visit, check out in-office procedures. You may, depending on severity, depending on how you feel about it, that may or may not be a rabbit hole you want to dive into, but um, but that's a state of structural dark circles. Uh, Topically speaking, a lot of actives, the classics, vitamin C, retinol, those can help, but they target mostly the pigment, the brown aspect of your dark circles. Vascular base or severe eye puffiness, it's all short term. Um, It's all, most of those, it's going to make you look, diminish the look just maybe immediately, especially for like icy rollers or depuffers. Those actives aren't exactly designed for long-term changes, long-term improvements. Mm. Um, so that's a state of topicals. All I have to say is, I don't think it's, even though I feel like that's a problem, it's a little bleak, but I think we can kind of all laugh at it a little bit. It's like, I actually pulled everyone on what do you swear by for your dark circles. Um, at first, I kind of pulled everyone for, with the impression of like, oh, you know, if maybe there's, a cool product out there that I haven't seen before. Maybe there's an inspiration there. But I loved everyone's responses. Yeah, it definitely made me feel... It was actually um, made me feel very uplifted because I'm like, oh, Mm. people do actually have a healthy sense of some of these skin concerns because I do feel like sometimes, you know, with the way beauty marketing is and social media, it can develop some very unhealthy views about, you know, your physical image. So I don't know. I thought that the the responses were great. Yeah, they're hilarious. Some of my favorites are a good color corrector. Wait, I don't think this is what you have in mind. <laughs> no, it wasn't, but it's very practical. And we got yeah. so many that says, um, sleeping 10 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? Tell me. Yeah. I miss uh, that. Sleep, smile, cry emoji. Uh, good, <laughs> good genetics. Also very practical. Also, yeah. Especially when it comes to like puffiness or whether or not you're prone to pigmentation and mm-hmm. the fat structure under your eyes is huge when it comes to mm-hmm. and, and your skin you naturally lose some level of fat as you age and that's mm-hmm. why it's like you didn't have dark circles and when that went away it's like bam <laughs> yeah um, yeah and then there's i love this one it says caffeine question mark not sure it even works all caps lol <laughs> you know what <laughs> not gonna rain on that placebo parade so you keep going if you think it works go for it yeah, so I think this kind of sums up how I end up walking away feeling about dark circles. It's like, mm. you know, like, do what you can. Um, topically, pick, a, pick an eye cream that's been tested, that's going to give you that peace of mind that you're doing what you can for dark circles. Yes. And the rest is just about, you know, I think it's just, I think it's like you can look at it with a bit of humor and, you know, aging is just a natural process everyone goes through. And a good color corrector can absolutely go a long way. Yeah, I was going to say, this is one of those episodes where we have to say, thank God for makeup. Thank God for yeah. good makeup, right? And yeah. I think, like, I feel like in terms of dark circles and eye area, in terms of topically, the way I go about it is more like age prevention. Like, I'd mm-hmm. like to just have this area age gra- more gracefully, you know? Yeah. And that's, like, yeah. my effort in that. Am I actually trying to hardcore correct? Probably not. So, but yeah, hopefully that gives everyone some level of comfort in their dark circle journey and yeah yeah and at the end of this episode uh as someone who's not very not very good with makeup if you have any good concealer tips yeah. any color correctors that you swear by yeah. let us know your skin type let us know what product you swear by i think it can help everyone out <laughs> totally totally 